Let's look at placebos, the idea of blinding, and the idea of double blinding in an experiment. A placebo is a fake treatment or pill that does nothing to the patient. It's a pill that would look like some other type of pill, something that you would uh, think is an active pill, but it turns out to be nothing. It turns out that it's just a sugar pill, uh, something that kind of dissolves but doesn't really have any medical effect. So the idea of a placebo is to pretend to be a treatment. The reason that we use placebos is because of something known as the placebo effect. It's believing that you're being treated that somehow makes you feel better. Now this comes up all the time in real life, comes up all the time in movies. Anytime you think that you're being treated, uh, that tends to change your behavior. Uh, one example that came up a lot was the idea of like a diet pill. If you're on some sort of diet pill, you might also then start exercising or changing your eating habits. When, in fact, the diet pill wasn't really doing anything. It was the fact that you changed your behavior that caused you to lose weight. And then because you were on this pill at the time, you say, oh, it was the pill that helped me. Um, another one uh, that I found uh, pretty interesting was uh, the movie Space Jam. A little bit older movie. But uh, Michael Jordan uh, gave the rest of the team some special water. The team drank the water, believed that it was uh, somehow making them stronger, faster, uh, better players. And later on, uh, he told them that it was not special in any way. It was just standard water out of the drinking fountain type of thing. And... Uh, it was only because the players believed that it had some kind of special qualities that they ended up playing better. So the placebo effect is the fact that people will change how they think and behave uh, when they think they're given some sort of treatment or medication. In this example, we have a new uh, a medication, a new drug, company's pill, and we want to compare it to a treatment where people are not receiving a pill. So we have two different treatment groups. We have the new pill and we have no pill. And we want to see if the people that have the, uh, the new pill do better than people that don't take it. The confounding factors, the things that are going to get mixed up in this study, uh, as we just uh, alluded to a second ago, would be that the people that are getting the pill are going to know they're being treated. They're going to think, oh, well, if I'm receiving treatment in some way, somehow that's helping me, I might change my other behaviors, might take a different attitude, I might uh, make sure I'm getting up on a regular schedule to take my pill, things like that. The people in the uh, group without any pill are going to think, oh, well, I'm in the fake group, I'm in the group that's not being treated, why should I take extra care of myself, why should I do these other things? So the uh, problem with a study like this is that even if the two groups were originally equal, the two groups, the two treatment groups were originally equal, once you start the experiment, it's not just the pill and no pill that's making these groups different. It's the fact that these people are going to probably behave differently than these. Let's compare that to this study. We have the new company pill and we have a pill that looks the same but doesn't do anything. All of a sudden now your two groups that were originally equal both think they're getting the real treatment. Both groups think that they have the pill. So that means that their behavior should be essentially the same. Yes, there are going to be some people that don't go and do extra exercise, but those people could come from either group. So the two groups are still equal. The only thing that's actually different in a study like this is the fact that one of the groups has the real pill with the real active ingredient the other group does not they have a pill that tastes the same looks the same but is in fact different so that's the important thing about a placebo is that it keeps the two groups equal and the only thing different is the actual active medical treatment and I use a lot of examples from medicine because I think this is where it comes up the most. 
but uh, in psychology, for example, if you're doing some sort of experiment there, you want the two treatment groups to believe that they're getting the same thing when, in fact, uh, there is one very small thing that's different about it. Getting uh, some terminology around this, when a subject does not know which treatment they are receiving, so when the subject is not told which group they are and they think they could be in either one, they are blinded. So we use the word blinded to refer to the fact that they don't know which group they are in. Nope. One thing to be concerned about is that sometimes, even if the patient doesn't know what's going on, the doctor might know. And if the doctor knows, they might treat the patients differently. So if the doctor knows that you are receiving the placebo, the fake pill, he might not give you the time of day or she might not answer your questions that you have uh, as openly or freely as someone who's on the real pill because they know that, well, you're not really worth their time that much. You're not getting the actual treatment. So one way to control this is actually to blind the physician. Whenever you do something like this, where you blind people on both sides of the experiment, it's called a double blind experiment. Now, that doesn't mean that nobody knows what's going on with the study. You have to have someone running the study in the background that keeps track of all the data, that keeps track of who's in what treatment group, things like that. But the people that actually talk to the patients, the doctors in this case, or the psychologists or whoever it might be uh, in any particular type of study, the people that are directly interacting with the subjects would not be told who's in what group until they absolutely had to or until they're no longer interacting with them. Uh, one thing that uh, we talked about was the idea of a surgery. If you were doing a fake surgery or a real surgery on someone, uh, because the placebo, the control group, had to get a fake surgery to look like they got a surgery, you want your doctor to know which surgery you're doing before you actually go into the operating room. However, you could tell them ahead of time that to, they could be prepared for both surgeries, uh, have the same doctor performing both surgeries, and when they interact with the patients, they would, they would tell them, look, these are the two surgeries that I could perform on you. I'll find out uh, after this meeting uh, which one I'm doing, but I can't know until I'm done interacting with you. So that way, on the day of the surgery, they would know which surgery they're doing, but at the time they talk to the patient to answer questions ahead of time, they wouldn't know uh, which type of surgery they're doing. That way, they can't lead people on to say, oh, you're just getting the fake one. 